Okay, so back on episode two, and we are going to continue with uh, loading some packages. And I want to load up some packages that are going to be useful. Um, we're going to use a uh, use package. And we're going to configure use package. So first, let's see how to get help for a package. You can do Control H, capital P, name of the package, and we are using use package. Yep. Uh, here it doesn't really tell us so much. Uh, let's see. What if we can go and actually look at the? That doesn't help so much. In package info. Here's that we have the info file for use package. I'm just using info mode. And here we have use package in info mode. Okay. And we see we have the introduction installing. We've already about passed the introduction. It's a macro that helps us out. Installation. We've already installed it. Let's take a look at the post install tasks. Yep. Hey, that we don't need to worry about. Now, let's see. How about getting started? Oh. Keywords. Here we go. See, these are all kinds of keywords that you can add that will help us to use Git package. And what you can do is you can bind it to a key map. Uh, you can bind to. So it will only load the package when you run the key binding or when you run a custom, when you run a command. Uh, you can also add hooks automatically. You can bind it to a mode. So say you want to bind it to PHP mode. When I load PHP mode, I also want to load autocomplete PHP. So things like that really makes makes it so you can write a very clean sorry uh, and it okay let's go back here fill this now let's see they happen to read me and the readme isn't here no I have not done where okay for that buffer Yep. Um, okay, it's pretty safe for it. We don't really need to look at the thing. So we want to look at here. There, it's a nice package that I want to use. That is called command. Don't remember what it's called, so we can do Control H, capital P, describe package, and it is command. Log mode. That's what I wanted. Okay. Let's, let's, let's look at command log. Now it's going to have to download the info the, the the package itself so we can see what's going on. Um, this is going to give us. Oh, uh, uh, it will show us a command log and the the keys that we use to to. Um, the keys that we use to uh, call those commands. Now you see how it has, it says to enable here, use require command log and this and all those other things. Uh, look, we don't, want to, we don't want to do all that. We want to do, because also we have to make sure that it's from the package that we installed the package, which we haven't done yet. So here, let's say here, I'm gonna add another one, command log. Let's add a, and this we can do use package and then the name oh you know what i forgot to do I forgot to open up my source okay okay now here we want to do let's go into this. okay so we can do now we're in this mode down here on the bottom and we can do use that use 
package. And see, we have the bottom, it tells us the args that we need. And we want to use here command log mode. And there's something that we can use that we can choose. There's a ensure. We can say this true, and what the insurer is going to do is going to make sure that if the package is not installed, you can install it for us. Okay, let's just leave it like this for now so I can show you how it works. And let's run this code. Um, no? What did I do wrong? It's not supposed to be coded. Yeah, not supposed to be coded, sorry. Yes. Okay, so now it should have had command log mode installed, so like it should be able to do uh, meta x command log mode, command log mode is running. Now, you didn't see anything happen yet. Now there's, because you need to do command log mode, toggle command log mode. Now we see on the side, it's going to show us all our commands. So, I'm going to add here, should have said at the end of the line, why is not showing anything? Um, we want to bind this to a command. Now, I don't remember how to do this. Let's jump back to that info file. Now here, now you see that they get they went to another window. Let's see if the info file is still open. Package, and what we had here, keywords. After, no, co uh, commands. It's not command, it's commands. Doesn't really tell us what the commands is here, so I'm pretty sure it's commands like this, and <clears throat> then we can do command log mode. Okay, so now they can let's run that again. And it should, it's bound now to command log mode. It's, so when I run command log mode, it's going to defer logging the package until I run that command. Uh, let's see what, we can also do a binding here. So I think it might have a binding already. Let's see. Um, toggle command log buffer. And it's bound to CO. Okay, so that we didn't include it, but I want to be able to have it do uh, bindings. I think it's like this. Let's see, let's just go back to the other buffer and see info. Let's go back to our info mode, commands, and uh, bind is bind and keep bind key map. Okay. Yeah, this one we actually have some things. Okay, here. We can bind to a. We can bind to a binding, and it tells you here. It creates an auto load, okay, and it binds to. Um. Oh, very nice. It tells you whether there was a more literal way to do this. We can do a bind. I mean, bind to a structure, but that's not what we want to do. We want to. It should also do um, defer here. Yeah. It says it defers loading base jump mode until actually you actually use it. Okay, let's. Why am I jumping? So we, we can do bind. The uh, bind we want to do, I think it was control C O. And that was um, CL, CLM. Uh, let's see, what was it? It is command log mode, toggle command log buffer. Toggle command log buffer. Okay. Now that should be bound to that. And if we wanted to here, we could also add custom binding. So if I wanted to do this, to, to be C, control C, C, T, I could change it. 
And so now this 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 already worked before. Target fan lane buffer. Great. Okay, now we're done here, so we can jump out of that. And okay. Command log mode, that's installed. Great. Save our Okay, so we got command log mode. Another one, let's do this to Magit. This is another one that... Um, it's a package that we really are going to be using a lot. And it doesn't come with a custom binding, so this will give me a chance to... Okay, let's do uh, Magit. So we can do a source, and source, and Emacs list. Sorry, fat fingers again. Oh, wait. I want to do that. We don't need to. We got our custom binding. So, see. Oh, let's see our command log mode. This is a global command log mode. Yeah, I am. Should be a global. No. Global command log mode. Okay, so we can also do doing another use package. Package. Use package. What do we want here? We wanted to use Magit. Remember, don't quote this. Okay. And we want this one to also be insure. True. And I want to bind. I want to be bind. I don't want the control X. I did control X G on mine, so C X G. And this should be bound to Magit status. And it's not bound yet. Okay, we don't have it. Let's also add the commands. But also lower than that happens. Just want to check something out here. What happened here? Yeah, something happened that backtrace. Sorry guys. Hey, control X G, I don't know why I did that. Uh, yep, everything looks like I set it up right. Now let's run this. Now it's downloading the package. This is something that I don't like. Is that it downloads the package before you actually need it. And that I don't want. I would much rather have that it uh okay, fine, just save it for that it would just download the package when I'm actually loading it up. See now it's also downloading all the append dependencies that we need for this. See But actually my git is not installed yet. Oh uh, now it's needs to uh, connect the Melpa. Yeah. Um, yeah, making these a bit too long, but this isn't this is important. Well, let's see, is Market installed? Oh, Market should not have been installed yet. Should not have been loaded the, the package because it should have been deferred. Hmm. It's weird. That's strange. Let's go back to the info buffer and check that out. So if I use bind or mode, oh. 
Very strange. Very strange, why is it... Why did it run? I mean, the first is implied whenever you use bind mode interpreter is used. Very strange. Maybe I loaded it before. It shouldn't. It, it shouldn't have loaded it yet. Okay. What what did I do now? Okay. So even installed my git. Let's mark this one done. Something is wrong with the. Okay. Now we've got Magit is installed. Next video, I'll hopefully show you how to use Magit. Command log is still here. Yeah. Now, this thing, the insurer, is something that I'm almost always going to install. What happens if you don't have insurer and you try to run the package? It will give you a warning that the package is not has not been installed yet. Look at messages for a second. Sorry. Look at what messages says. See, it's generating all the auto loads. Why do I need all these? Very strange. I don't know why it didn't defer it. Oh well. No, this one I don't need. Yeah, let's go back to our knit. Okay. The, what was I saying before? Here, this this ensure. This you're probably going to use any time that you use get package, uh, use pa use package. Yep. You, know, you can tell it that that sometimes you might not want to, but that you can. It's most of the chances are that you're going to use the. Um, That you're going to want to use ensure always so we can set that up so that's the, our default for everywhere so let's open up another code block here Next. this and if i remember how to do it i could go back in the info pages but i've got it on another buffer anyway so and let's find what was it use package Sorry about that. You can install. This. Now we're setting a variable use package. Ensure always true. And that's gonna add ensure to always. Let, let's take a look at the, the help for this. No, not a function. We want to look at the help for a variable. Can every package is, is been using ensure. And you have the defaults we can look at a bit more later if you want. Be interesting to take a look at. You have demand defer. I think I would like to use always defer as well. Let's see. Another thing you can do is I you can actually have defer, you can add the time so it'll it'll not load up right away, slowing down. The problem is if you defer all your packages to like you say a second from now. Then what's going to happen is that it's going to be um, all of them are going to load at once. So 
and it'll still lock up Emacs. That's kind of something that we would like to avoid. But I think that's good for now. But let's find all these other insurers. Get rid of these. Make our things a lot more. Okay. Oh. oh. Don't know what that was. Okay, that's I think is good for now. Let's see what we've got here. Command log mode. All the demo stuff. Okay, I got a command log mode is done. Let's also add here. Let's go take it. Make that another two. Why does it keep doing that? Ah. No. Okay. Did I maybe miss a source code that I didn't find as well? Hmm. Okay, that's good for now. Package manager set up. For some reason it doesn't uh, key code doesn't work for this. Um Okay. That's done. Figlets was coming up soon. Maggot is installed. Oh, I want to still explain to you how to use Maggot. Oh. I don't know why it keeps asking me for that comment syntax. See if there's a all my sources are marked as the next list. Where? Let's just take a look at our init.el. Just make sure. See that it's installed Maggot here. And we can see that the key of Tro XG is actually bound to Maggot status. Great. Okay. So that's it for now. Um just add this in the git and see. What is this? Because I'm not in the right file. No. Sorry, guys. I'll do. I will use Git. Uh, my Git for doing that for you guys in the next video. Okay, that's it for now. Let me know what's going on, what you think. I'm doing okay, I'm not doing okay. Uh, bye for now.